Okay, welcome back to today's episode. We're going to be talking raising prices, which is now like one of our favorite topics to talk about. Money, honey, and pricing and raising your prices and charging your worth. It's something actually probably a couple of years ago we weren't so comfortable with. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and we would actively probably steer away from these sorts of conversations, right? Yeah, not so much in our coaching business, but absolutely bridal shop times and um, especially being a business that kind of hit that more lower budget end of the market so you would really to say we smashed that niche to a T and had a very successful business in that niche didn't we but mm. one of the things we were known for was having good quality dresses at a more affordable price and I think that really set up our relationship in terms of pricing and mm-hmm one of the biggest mistakes that I ever made in business was not passing on the VAT to brides when we were VAT registered because I felt that there would be this block in terms of the price of the dress jumping three, four hundred quid because the VAT was on top. And actually that was my block, my mindset that I then projected onto the couples coming in, which then led to me having thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds to pay in VAT bills that should have absolutely been passed on to our couples. But this is something that we're much more comfortable talking about. We're much more comfortable talking about money, raising prices, talking about our journey with money, but also encouraging you and getting you to be able to know what you're worth and making sure that your business, we're in this for profit. We're in this to provide the lifestyle that you want to be providing. We're in this not to be blood sweat and tears in it out and not having anything at the end of it we know that you work hard and you deserve to be paid all that work so yeah today we're going to be talking to you all about how to know when it's time to raise your prices it is time to get your heads out of the sand with this subject let's do it because like you've just said know your worth guys you do a good job and we know you do so it's time to analyze this subject i think a lot of people get nervous about increasing their fees and increasing their prices because they feel that it's gonna turn customers away everything's gone up at the minute there are really some really good reasons to raise your prices so that you're earning a living that matches the experience that you give and the business that you want to create so yeah we're going to talk to you today about some reasons why it might now be time for you to raise your prices so the first one is that you're in high demand are inquiries coming in is your calendar fee filled nice and easily if you are you're in high demand and this is a perfect reason to raise your prices you only have a certain amount of weddings that you can take on each year so you need to be charging appropriately based on how much demand there is for your service. Like if you are booking every available day in your calendar, your revenue is going to stall over time. You're either going to need to increase your capacity, which is then going to involve you taking on staff so that you can do more weddings. It's going to lead to burnout as well if you're already at capacity and you even increase even more capacity or you need to raise your prices. If you already have a team and you're still booked solid, you should be increasing pricing across the board for every person inside your company, for sure. And this is why it's important, like I just said, to get your head out of your sand with the, your sand, the sand, with things like this, because this could potentially creep up on you and then you can find yourself in a position where you're like, oh God, now what do I do? So you've got to really work out, like you were saying, Kate, that ceiling of how many weddings you can do, with what time you have what staff you have because you don't want to be in a position where you're like okay I've hit this plateau on my earnings now on what's coming in what can I do whereas if you keep an eye on it over time you can see what potentially is coming up so you can change things accordingly and by charging more you can potentially take on fewer clients while earning the same or even a higher revenue as well and that sounds nice doesn't it it, because you can't there's two ways to increase, right? You either increase uh, the amount of money you're making, you either increase the amount of work that you do, or you increase your pricing. And ideally, we all want to have fewer events and make more money, right? And 
the most successful people in the industry are getting to a point where they're only taking on six or seven weddings a year and they're still making six figures. Now, yes, this does take time, a lot of time, hard work. They've built themselves up. They've got um, a reputation. They've got a solid network around them. They are in with all the venues. They market it in a particular way and they price in a particular way. But this is possible for you as well. And if you are somebody that wants to take on less events, perhaps this time next year in the summer, you want to not have worked every single weekend. You want to have a couple of weekends off or you want to go away for an entire two weeks and not have to think about weddings or, or do anything wedding related. You are going to have to take a hard look at your pricing if that is what you want to do. An idea um, for you to be able to work this out is to have an idea of what you want to be making in the next few years. So take your target earnings and then divide by the number of weekends or divide by the amount of weddings that you would ideally like to work each year. And then that is going to give you your target price per wedding. Compare that to what you're already charging and then consider what steps you need to take. Do you need to invest in better equipment? Do you need to invest in maybe a business coach to be able to get to that next level? in order to close the gap. If the price that you're currently charging is worlds away from what you need to be charging or want to be charging to be able to work the number of weddings that you wanna work each year and make the money you want to, what do you need to do there? What needs to change for your business in order to close that gap? Is it better branding, for example? Is it packaging? Is it better wording? Whatever it is, have a look at what you need to do to close that gap. Another reason why you might consider raising your prices, and this might be a little bit one that you've gone, oh, okay, I've not considered that, is if maybe you're, you've not got the bookings coming in that you would like, and those people that you are attracting are not your ideal clients. This could be a case of there's some sort of pricing issue going on, maybe that you are going for, you are attracting the more looks end of the wedding industry budget, yet your prices are really low and out of sync with that when people are inquiring they're going to feel like something's amiss so it's just worth looking at your ideal client are you the ideal clients that you want to be working with coming through and are they paying the prices that you want another reason why you might consider raising your prices is if you've been in the industry a little while now so you've got that more experience that definitely should equal raising your prices. You've learned a lot. You've got a lot of skills under your belt now. So take a look at how long have you been in the industry? Have you worked with some prestigious venues? This is really going to set you up as a kind of expert in your field and you definitely deserve to be paid more for that privilege. Every single wedding that you do, every single wedding se season you go through, you gain experience, you mm -hmm. learn the industry you're refining your craft you're creating moral connections that are going to benefit all the future clients that you work with and pair that gained experience with any conferences like webcon that you attend and any continuing education that you do that is a lot of professional progress each year mm -hmm. and if you were in a corporate job you'd be paid for all that professional progress right you're yeah, you good your pricing should reflect your experience like when you're evaluating any expenses that you've made in your business also look at what professional gains that you've made in the past year such as any education that you've done any coaching that you've had any professional development you've done any extra experience any workshops you've been on etc and adjust your prices accordingly yes it can be stressful to raise your prices but remember that you bring all of your experience talent and personality to your clients and if they're just price shopping they might not have been a good fit anyway mm -hmm. and the longer that you are in business the more that you're bringing to your clients and you need to charge accordingly for sure yeah as your skills and your reputation grow and it naturally will the longer time that you've been in the industry you are justified in increasing your rates to align with your level of expertise and the quality of your work yeah, for sure. And all of this you're bringing on to new weddings, etc. So don't be scared to charge for your experience and for your work, for sure. The next one, and the one we're all too familiar with, is the cost of doing business 
does increase each year, like petrol, sourcing things, traveling, all of these things can go up even in just a year. And as we're in another year of uncertainty, after three years of uncertainty, we're seeing increased rates of inflation across the board. I think we're at now at nine or 10% compared to this time last year. Yeah. You know, production slower, there's fewer suppliers in the market. Uh, marketplace even political conflicts change people's shopping behaviors and people's purchasing behavior all as a result of the covid pandemic and then higher inflation and this is some of the highest inflation we've seen in 40 years and in order to be able to pay yourself and any staff that you've got and to keep those staff members and your best employees you need to turn enough profit to be able to afford any expenses you've got, such as any shops or if you're renting a space, any storage space or you're renting a shop front, any transportation, any petrol costs, any food costs. You are going to want to be looking at your prices and reviewing your pricing strategy in order to be able to cover all of that. Yeah, you don't want to be left out of pocket for something that I think now as well, it is a given that everybody knows that things are a little bit more extensive than they were previously. My personal note, my food shop's gone up like horrendously. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Katie's too. I've got teenage boys in the house as well. So it is just that I think people do have an expectation that things are costing a little bit more than they used to. But I think another thing that can signal that you time to up your prices is are you, have a look at the competitors around you that are in a similar kind of bracket to what you are. Are they, have their prices increased? What are they doing? Now, this is not a case of, okay, they've increased their prices, so I'm going to increase my But You can really look into that as an indication as to where you sit within your industry bracket yeah for sure I think it's just something we need to get into the habit of doing on a yearly basis anyway and the thing to remember is when you're your own boss it's up to you to decide how much you get paid and since most of us only get around to reviewing our prices around once a year you want to make sure that you're taking into account what this leaves on the table for you right Mm -hmm. you don't get a date back once it's booked what you sell it for now is what you're going to make next year if you wait too long to raise your prices then you're going to leave money on the table with no chance to make more until the year after that right don't wait to increase those prices until it's too late be sure to sit down renew the review the numbers in your business and make any adjustments you need to continue to build a thriving business for yourself and for the future as well yeah, it's important. You are in this game, you're in this business to to make money. Yes, you do it because you love what you do, but also it's got to pay the bills. Not only pay the bills, but you're not in this just to break even. You are here and you're obviously listening to us because you want to find ways that you can have a profitable business that's going to see you, exactly what we're saying, up in your prices and then working less weddings and charging more. Having some weekends free in the summer, which would be nice, right? And doing things like this and and looking at your prices is one way that's going to help you get to where you want to be. Yeah, so hopefully we have inspired you to take a look at the numbers. I know they can be scary to look at raising your prices. I think across the board, now's a good time to do it. You, You said that a lot of things have gone up. A lot of things do go up on a yearly basis. Inflation or no inflation, things just tend to go up on a yearly basis anyway. So if you are somebody that has still got the same prices as before the pandemic, you definitely want to be looking at your prices. Don't worry that you're going to be putting people off with your prices at all. There are a whole host of people that will only consider working with people at a certain price point because their expectation is that they're going to get the best. So if you are already providing the best, you damn well need to make sure that you're charging for that as well so that you can keep doing this like you don't want to be down the line having to consider going back to work full time for somebody else because you haven't charged your work we were working with a client that was charging like 300 quid for a full day no sorry I got that wrong she wasn't charging 300 quid for a full day she was charging about six quid for a full day's worth of work and then she had editing to do on top of that and we were like 
okay, what, are you, what is your charge in an hour? And she was like, oh, I'm not completely sure. And then when we actually sat down and worked it out, she was being paid way less than minimum wage. And we were like, this stops now. Let's, we're, not here for that. Let's... Uh-uh. we're not here for that. Stops now. And we worked with her to raise her prices. And she's still attracting clients. I was just going to say, not only is she attracting clients, actually, she's attracting more of those ideal clients that know her worth and pay her due, really. And this is it. The people who are price shopping don't tend to value your services much. Right. Quite often are the nightmare clients, aren't they? They're the nightmare people that cause you all ends of ag. They want you to be available at times you don't want to be available. They've always got an urgent question, even though their wedding's not for two more years. Nothing's actually ever good enough for them. <laughs> they don't leave testimonials and they're just generally not fun people to work with. And you don't want those couples. Leave somebody else for those we're doing like that <laughs> get rid of those clients like you don't yeah. want them so you don't let's weed them out even before they get into your inbox yeah you are too good for those leave those for the people who don't know how to charge their worth who aren't investing in their business who aren't taking their business seriously who mm-hmm. haven't they're not investing in professional development they're not listening to podcasts reading books honing in their skill or doing all of the stuff so hopefully we've inspired you to take a little look at your prices today um uh, if you need any help with this feel free to hop into our inbox or leave a link below and we would be more than happy to sit with you for an hour and kind of look at your pricing and look at your profit and see where we can also make more profit for you inside your business as well and if there's any little small tweaks that we can do that's going to make you more profit or some other things that we can do to bring in more revenue for your business Yep, that's right. The link is going to be in the show notes for all of that. Don't forget to hop over and leave us a review because that not only shows us how much you love us, but also helps other people find our podcast as well. So hop over there now and do that. And we will see you on the next episode. Bye. Bye.